That more so for me, it was about what, what Team 3 represents, not the name, you know what I mean? And we've, we've established that. When we play around the country, people know that we're going to play hard. They know that they're going to always be in a fight when it comes to playing us. They First class way. What time y'all first game today? Right, okay, y'all know who y'all got yet? Yeah. Canada Elite. Canada Elite. Yeah. Hear anything about him? Nah. I think the last time we played was like seven grand. We beat him every time we played him. Okay. Alright, so what y'all expecting this weekend? Four and now. Four and now? Got four games? Yeah, nothing less. Work hard, play together. Who the biggest bucket right here at this table? It gotta, it gotta be me. You? Yeah. I'm the best shooter over there. You're the best shooter? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Who the best defender? Me. Me. I get a lot of steals. Okay. Off ball steals or on ball steals? Off ball. All right, so who the best on ball defender, right? Yeah, four, four. yeah you got that. I give it the same. Yeah, I give it that. <laughs> you give it the same. Okay. Definitely, like we, that's the identity of our city. Blue collar, hard working, gritty. Like that's, and that's how we raise, that's how we raise our guys. That's how we raise our players. Like for me, that's how I was raised. Um, I played in this town. I played at a high level. I was known really well in this town for being a bucket getter and a tough. I was undersized, but I was a dog. And that's kind of how I groom my guards to be, no matter what size you are. Like, like if, you, if it's a job that needs to be done, you gotta go do it. No exception. No, your, no your job. And carry that out.
continue to do better. Yeah. There's a lot of shit you can work on from your camera. Right Yo, the main thing I want to say is, yo, when you come to the car, yo, you got to be locked in and ready to go. I don't know if you go with this, a home board or if you go with an ASAP. consistent in our approach, we have to be consistent in our effort, and we have to trust each other that's right here. We have enough talent where everybody should be able to go to school for free. Do, do everybody agree with that? It's up to us how we how we attack this, how we approach this, and how we, how we are accountable for ourselves. I really think we just toughening everybody that's that one quote with us. I, I think we're the toughest team in the country, hands down. So we, we got more heart than everybody. That's really all it, it breaks down to.
16 you started off a little slow, but they they down the stretch. They won uh, they won six out of their last eight games to put them in a position to make it to advance into the UA final. So with that being said, with those things being established last year, sets us up to have a pretty good year. This year. So, It feels good, man. It's a big blessing for me. Um, just a dream I had since I was a kid. You know, just saying to myself, I'm going to go to the NBA. And when I go to the NBA, I'm going to try to get back to my community, uh, have an AAU program, and not just have one and donate money and stuff like that, but give it my time. So to be out here with the kids and, you know, they show out and win, that's what I always love. And I know they feed off my support and I feed off their energy. So it's. It's a give and take thing. I'm just proud of all the fellas and all the coaches and the parents, everybody. They came so about four, four years ago, four and a half years ago. Um, I was at the Will Barton Elite Camp. This was before I was running the Will Barton Elite Camp, and I was there. My son was a participant, um, and Will and I talked, and he, he 
basically, you know, saw what I was doing in the community, respect my work, and he said I always wanted to have an AAU program. What do you think about partnering with me? And we start out, start an AAU program. I was already at the time running the AAU program, and I had like most of the young talent in the city that I had been cultivating for some years. So it was it was full circle for me. Um, I had already been in, talking to different brands about sponsorship. Will was an Under Armour athlete, so it made sense to go with Under Armour. Then, as though he was an Under Armour athlete, the brand is here in Baltimore, and um, I had been in talks with different brands. So we, from there, we we built Team Thrill. Um, that was the name that he always he envisioned always having an AAU program. And, and, and like our, our Lady Thrill program is thriving. Um, we started it literally one year ago. We had nine teams now. Our 2022 girls team, they also won the UAA girls side undefeated. So they not only was our 15 U boys undefeated, our 15 U girls were undefeated and won it too. So we're really expecting big things from our 15 and 16 U teams this year on the UA girls, on the UA girls association. And uh, our younger teams, we have really great talent coming up the pipeline. We have a young lady named Khalees Fisher who's all of that. If you don't know about her, you better get to know about her because she's the next McDonald's All-American probably to come through this town. If we don't have one before her, she will be one. She'll be that Anaya Russell, Angel Reese for the city of Baltimore. literally comes and sits on the bench, he coaches, he supports, like literally, he called me um, the day after Kobe Bryant passed because Kobe, Kobe Bryant was a mentor to him. And he literally said like, I know I've been involved, but I even want to get more involved this summer. I want to run practice. I want to train the kids. I want to I want to coach. I want to really coach the team, like really be involved. And for him to say that during the time where his NBA team was trying to compete for a playoff run, and a championship run. For him to be thinking about AAU basketball during his NBA season, that speaks values. Not many, not many professional athletes are connected to their communities the way that he is. This summer was a great summer for me. I played against the top players in the country, and I just love playing with Team Thrill. It's like a family more than a team. Will is more than this is like Team Thrill. He comes to every game. He's been with us in practice. I think Will is like a good human being. What he's doing for the community in Baltimore City. I like the Will. I would like to do this one day for the city. Um, team Thrill helped me become a young man, mature. I mature more. Um, it helped me. They helped me develop my game. They have a big talk to me in the off the court. We had meetings about different things, about life. Uh, they always talk to me, encouraged me, for James. Just different different stuff. They, they really helped me. Just the, just the genuine love that, that the guy that has that been showing me as a coach, especially for the kids, because you know what I mean? You know, as far as you know, with basketball period, man, it, it gotta be, it gotta be genuine, it gotta be love, because the business part could take you know what I mean? It, 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 it's, it, it's tricky, put it like that. So just being a part of Thrill, man, you know what I mean? Coach we always have it out back. I can call him for anything, and he's going to be there and just, you know what I mean? It, it helps us out a lot.